Hello, and welcome back to Eco. Welcome back to Man vs. Meteor. Which, you know, it's been several episodes since I've seen that meteor. Hmm, interesting, interesting. <clears throat> However, uh, I have made some upgrades to the house, but as you can see, I have not completely finished. Um, I went and got all four corners done in brick all the way up. I've started making a bit of progress on, you know, a couple of the layers here. Um, didn't really go much there, but I did come all the way back on this side and start in on the back. Obviously, I haven't really touched this side yet. And ultimately, this is because I remembered something and have been slowly dealing with it. But I figure it is time to deal with that properly. However... Before we do that, let me show you what else I've done. That is in a Yield Workshop here. I have just about fully replaced the floor with lumber. Uh, I believe I should have enough lumber to finish off this last patch. <clears throat> and the reason I did the floor first is because it also serves as the ceiling for the floor below, which means that all of our rooms will be getting that tier bonus. Uh, let's see, I have 13, yeah, and I've got 14 of these. So let's go ahead, let's do this. Just get the last little bits in here. There we go. All right, so this big old room of ours, up here at the top, is at 1.36. Now, let's take a quick look at these guys. Look at this. 1.37, And as you can see, this kitchen was at a 21% reduction before, and it is down to 9. So, uh, that is a major increase. The amount of, uh, of, of points we were losing has been cut, in ha cut by more than half. And we're not even done upgrading yet. By the time we're done upgrading, it'll be all the way up there. So as you can see, we're doing really, really good on that front. We're doing okay here. Um, how much we got? Nine and a half hours. We got a little bit of stuff to do before we get to the glass working. <clears throat> we unlocked it. But I would like to do a couple other things, and I, you can tell I just restarted the game, because that happened. Alright, let's bop it down this way. So, the thing I remembered is that the shale that we need to make better use of the brick is not only available in the marshlands, it is a little bit more difficult to get to, but it is also available in the jungle. And we have a jungle just over this hill. If you look, there's the hill, there's jungle. And this is shale. So is this. As you can see, this is where I've been pulling some shale out, because that's all nice and even. Yeah, I've been pulling shale out of the jungle. So what I want to do is go ahead and turn our road here, but not just anywhere. Something I didn't do well when making this road is something that I would have probably gotten yelled at by some idiot on a server for doing. I am not even with the claim chunks on my five wide road. Now, this doesn't matter in the long run, because eventually, roads become seven wide. So, you would end up outside it anyway, on either side, or perhaps if it's well planned on one. But, for the moment, uh, yeah, somebody would yell at me about that. And that's because this makes it easier for people to build buildings roadside. That's why it's done. So what we're going to do is right here. We're going to start with this spot right there. Really? Okay, I guess we're going to start by cutting down this cactus. Because that thing's at 
What? There. Come on. I just restarted the game. Why am I already getting that annoying little bug where things are not wanting to hit the thing I'm looking at? Alright, so anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to start right here. And we're going to grab up that piece of dirt. And we're going to go, that's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to grab that piece of dirt. And we're going to look, and sure enough, that is the edges. So right along here is where I'm going to put my road towards the jungle. Now, of course, at first here, we're going to... Oh, right, I can only grab one at a time. I got a little used to playing on a server that has the big shovel mod. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start just kind of doing that. You know what? We got ten. Let's go ahead and get ten ready to go. Do, do, do. Just like that. We will grab our ten. We will put that down. And now... We aren't going to have any problems remembering where we're going. Now, one thing I would like to do, obviously I don't have the roads with me, but what I would like to do here is start prepping this as well. So what I think I'm going to do is right here. I'm going to start putting these guys in, and we're going to use this old trick. And however high I get with this, is how high I get with this. Because I don't think I'm quite going to clear the hill, but trimming out a little bit is not going to be too terrible, I don't think. Do I have more of those in there? No, but I do have more roads. And I can move more of this over. I've got a bunch more ramps back up at home. Now let's just grab out the additional five. Three, four, five. And we're going to come grab those five. We will put them down. <clears throat> just to make a little bit of room. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do here... I think I'm... Hello, turtle. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this chunk of road built. And think about what I'm going to do once I'm on top of that hill. I'll come back once I have a little bit more done so that we get a little bit more done in the episode. Alright, so with a little bit of time and effort, we now have our road cresting the hill. And they're starting to head back down, and we can see the jungle we're heading for. Not too terribly far away. We are going to have to drop things down a little bit further, but that shouldn't prove too much effort. Not for our... carefully... constructed... ramp situation. Boop. 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 And pick you back up. Put you back down. There we go. And now we just kind of do something as in or similar. Oh, that's not quite gonna do it, is it? Uh, this will do it that way. Right, right. I had to do it this before with the other. It's fine. Just do that. Like so. And I'm going to need to go get some more ramps, but I've got a whole bunch that I crafted up top with uh, all this dirt that we had to sort of pick up. And that's the reason I just sort of made this dirt road here, is I didn't want to have to pick up more dirt to put down the stone road. We'll upgrade it eventually if the need arises, but for now, this should do fine. So we need, what, is that two more layers? Looks like two more layers, and we'll be down to a decent level for this. 
Maybe we'll end up bridging this river. Not too sure. But the fact that we will have made it into this biome means that we should be able to get access to the stone we are after. It should just be down a few layers. And I think the jungle has a decent clay layer as well. So we might even be able to pull up some stuff for that. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. It's just too bad that uh, this stuff is all limestone instead of the uh, shale. But we're going to need more of that in the future anyway. For now, I'm going to get this road the rest of the way down here and over to some point that I feel comfortable setting up shop. And we'll be back when I'm ready with that. I just figured you guys would like the update once we got past the top of the hill. I will see you again. Alright, so time for another progress update. Um, I might be going a little overboard. And I'll show you what I mean. So I've got this here. I've decided to go ahead and bridge the river. Uh, as you can see, I've made myself a little footpath to get across. And I've gone ahead and made these stone ramps instead of dirt ones. Just to make the bridge look a little bit nicer. And it doesn't mean they won't have to be replaced as soon. Um, eventually, I might want to actually replace this all with uh, either stone or eventually the asphalt road. But I don't know if I'm going to bother with that kind of thing. But we've also got kind of set up here. I just kind of started laying it out. I've got the little five wide here set up, which is on the square in order to turn the road that direction. And I'll bridge over the river a second time. And you're like, why would you do that? Well, it's a little bit easier in my brain to do it this way with a single turn rather than turn it before and then turn it again and then turn it a third time because what I would like to get to is this right over here as you can see there is what appears to be some shale right here in a cliff face and I might just be able to burrow in and into it because this is still some jungle over here there's a little bit here where it might be something other than shale but I'm kind of hoping that this will end up being where my shale mine ends up being. So I might do a little bit of, like, touch-up work on the bridge and stuff once I've got it going. But for the moment, this is what I'm going to do. I think I might just come back once I get over where I'm going, or at least close to it. I don't want, you know, the entire episode to just be me laying down road, you know? Welcome to the jungle. You're gonna die. I'll be back in a few. Alright, I am back. I have put down a little bit of a stockpile here, right next to the big old thing of shale. Uh, I've got the road basically running right up to it. I did make a little bit of a shortcut to get things done a little quicker. Hey, move it move it. Um, as you can see, I haven't quite cut up all the trees that I cut down yet. Clear cutting my way over there was a bit of a pain. I can definitely see why uh, farmers are just burning it out. That and I think the ash actually uh, uh, helps give nutrients to the soil too. Um, but I cut a little bit of a corner. My bridges are currently only three wide. I will more than likely go back and finish making them five wide uh, in between episodes. I just didn't want to waste too much more time uh, in the middle of a recording, literally sitting here with the recording paused while I was doing all of this. And I gotta tell you, it's been some time. It has. Uh, that was a lot of effort, but it should prove uh, useful going forward. Now, yes, I could theoretically have just, like, run stuff by hand, but, eh, that's annoying. It's annoying. Yes, I literally just did hours worth of work to prevent being annoyed. 
But this also gives us access to everything in the jungle with a cart. Or in the future with a car. So it is a useful thing. And obviously on servers, roads are going to go everywhere by the time you're done. And as you can see, I got a lot of wood. I processed a bunch of it into lumber. I processed stuff into hewn logs. I processed stuff into charcoal. And I still have tons of stuff. Just tons. Tons, tons, tons. Alright, so let me go ahead and figure out what I'm going to do with this dirt. I guess I could throw it in here for the moment. I am kind of running a bit low on... Ooh, we can move this one piece of clay up to that four stack. Nice. We should be able to... Oh, boy. Now, if I move that last bit in, that's going to be every last bit of it. But, we're about to start making a mine, theoretically, going back down. So we're going to need some more ramps anyway. And they don't have to be nothing fancy. So let's go ahead and make another ten. There we go. That will take... What is that, like six stacks? worth of space and turn it into one. Assuming it has some place to output. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. So that will process. I still have a bunch of sand. We're we're gonna need the sand next episode because we're gonna get into glass working. But this exact second, yikes. Not so much. Alright, let's go get some of that shale. And we will process it. We will turn it into some brick. And I think we'll wrap the episode up, even if it ends up being a little early. I ran a little over with the last two episodes. So running a few minutes under on this one shouldn't be too much. Especially considering how much time I actually put in. This was hours worth of work getting this road built just over the course of this episode. So, gotta tell you, not everything is a clean cut little 30, 40 minutes, you know? Alright, Gator, get a move on. You too. Go on. Psst, psst. Go. Psst. Get. <laughs> Oh, and there is just wood everywhere that I'm still trying to process. At least I'm going to have a whole bunch of lumber done so I can finish getting things, you know, kind of updated between episodes here. At least that's the hope. Alright, so the reason I did this is so that if my cart ends up full, I have some place to put stuff down. That's really the long and short of it. So, just like anything else... We're going to do this, and of course, because we have mining as a specialty and all kinds of perks and a decent, uh, you know, pickaxe, things are going to go fairly quick. Now, my one hope is that this is going to continue to be shale for a while and not just, like, disappear 3N. You know what? I say the words disappear three in, and it makes me want to go three in just to see. Now, where did the last one go? Where in the world? Did it, like, come up top or something? Every so often, a piece will do that. Okay, so I'm just randomly short a piece of shale. Weird. Alright, let's go in a few... Oh. Well, at least that's clay. Which is also useful. And I suppose the possibility remains that down will still have shale. 
right? Possibly? You know what? Let's start checking. Alright. At least here, the down is still shale. And now I have an extra piece. What the... Alright, well, I guess it evens out. But still. Why is it gotta be weird like this? Alright, if we do this... Alright, so at the very least, there's gonna be some depth to this deposit. Let's kinda do that. Let's go ahead and pick up these two. And we're gonna need to go deeper, but moment. We can do that. That should be 20. No, 20. There we go. Gonna knock that down. I think. Yeah, there we go. We got 140. Alright, let's go get it crushed. Let's go crush it on up. Good little start here. Now that's going to turn into much less because it's like 12 per. So, you know, going to be a lot less. But then again, I think it's currently doing like a little better than 2 to 1 on turning it into brick. So, nothing too bad. And now I see you. Come here. Give me, give me that. Mine. Bad kitty. <laughs> oh, I can tell my brain is starting to do that type of thing. Alright, let's pop over here where we have our ability to grind. Is it called a Rastra? Something like that? I don't know. Hopefully before too much longer we'll be getting it replaced, but that's probably still like four or five episodes out. All right. You know what? I have an idea. How about I just say... You can pull from the cart. Looks good to me. All right. So, let's see what we can get. All right, looks like we can get 36 crushed shale out of all of that. Bam. We're going to go ahead and... Let that run. And I think, yeah, it'll pull from here first. It's only going to push into here, so I'm probably going to have to move a few things around. Uh, we can move that out. Just kind of do that. All right. So I will come back in a few minutes once this is done crushing. All right, it is working on its last iteration here. I'm going to go ahead and pull those in. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the, like, four random shale that are left there. Call that good. We'll just grab these last three crushed as they come out here. And now. All right. And let's head on up top and start turning stuff into brick. I don't know if I have enough clay to match this much shale, but hey, we just discovered a big old clay deposit right behind that shale, so not going to be the biggest problem if we don't. For now, though, we're just going to get this stuff processing. And hope for the best. And I think instead of moving stuff around, I'm going to use that same trick. Alright, I don't like... There we go. I'm going to use that same trick, and I'm just going to come over to the kiln, and I'm going to be like, hey, you can pull out of the cart. And let's see. We want shale brick. Okay, we have 35 clay. You know, I'm going to go grab one piece of clay. Just to make this work. One piece of clay. You're going to go in the cart. 
And now we will have 36 of both. So whatever number we end up coming up with, let's see. Yeah, it is just under half. So if I go, like, say, 75, that is really close. All right, looks like 80. We are going to get 80 iterations, and since it produces two a pop, it's going to give us 160 bricks. That should do us for a little while. It's not going to be enough once we start moving on to bigger projects. However, right now, that will probably be plenty. Now, that's going to take almost 20 minutes to process. I need to move some of this stuff out of my hot bar so I can have a thing to not do. You have a tool in my hand. All right, so much like last time, I am going to go ahead and continue work on converting the house into tier two. However, now I have processed a whole bunch more boards, as you can see, or, you know, not boards, lumber. I've got over a hundred lumber at the moment. There is still a ridiculous amount of uh, wood in here, plus there are trees I had to knock down that I hadn't cut up yet for this. So hopefully I will have, if not all of it, then the vast majority of this done next episode, minus the windows, because we're going to put glass in those windows, because next time we're going to take glass working. Now that is going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>